So what kind of payment terms can I expect when I first go to work with a Chinese manufacturer? So that's a great question. The question is what kind of payment terms can you expect when you're working with a Chinese manufacturer? So typically the terms are going to be you pay 30% down to start production and then you're going to pay the remaining 70% either before the container ships. It depends on what kind of relationship or or what kind of contract you worked out with the manufacturer, or you're gonna pay the remaining 70% when it reaches the shores, and they call that the release of the BOL, the bill of laden. When you're ordering your first container, that's generally what the manufacturer will agree to. Now, as you work with the manufacturer, you always wanna to try to get terms as much as possible. And so, you may even wanna upfront with the manufacturer say, hey, you know, I'll do 30, 70 this shipment. When we place the next container, are you willing to do 20, 80? So maybe you want to put 20% down on that shipment and pay the remaining 80% when it reaches the shores. And so you're always, you always want to push the manufacturer for better terms and let them know right up front that you down the road are going to want better terms. So I know some sellers, the way that they do this is some sellers will actually put down 40% of the order right pre-production and then they'll ask the supplier to pay a remaining 40% when it reaches the shores and then they'll ask, hey, after it gets to the warehouse or after it gets to Amazon, can I pay you then the remaining 20% 30 days later? So that's kind of a creative way that this seller worked out this manufacturer and building trust. At the end of the day, it really is about building trust with that manufacturer. And your goal always is to get 30 or 60 day terms after your product arrives in the warehouse. That's the ultimate goal. You would want to be able to put down 20 or 30 percent and then pay the remaining 70 percent after your product is already selling. It's super important that you know that going in, that you always want to push terms for your manufacturer because one of the biggest struggles you'll have as you grow your business is cash flow. As your business begins to grow, you're always struggling with cash flow and by having extended terms, because inventory is going to be your largest cost, that's going to help you tremendously with your cash flow. So just understand that, again, you wanna to try to negotiate always better terms, and as you work with a manufacturer longer, you definitely should be pushing them for terms. Now, one of the things that's gonna help you get those terms is when you visit China and actually spend time with a manufacturer. All the sellers that I've talked to that have gotten very generous terms, it's always been over lunch or over dinner with their manufacturer. So that is super important too. If you really want to get those terms, that is going to help your cash flow. Hey, if you guys like this channel, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button, subscribe below.